B, but he will be an A soon and he'll be a Steven Zilvani. G'day guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today I am ranking the 2021 key defenders. I ranked the key forwards a couple of weeks ago. Um, and it was some biased, really uneducated opinions, but that is what you guys sign up for. All right, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the tier maker and rank the key defenders of 2021. All right, 2021 defenders, look at them all. Let's kick it off with Liam Bones Jones, A, A grade defender. Is he in the Steven Silvani column? Not yet, but boy oh boy, one of the best one-on-one -on -one defenders you'll see. Put a bit of respect on Jonesy's name. Charlie Ballard is one of my favourites to watch. I reckon he's a B, but he will be an A soon, and he'll be a Steven Zilvani even more sooner. We'll keep tabs on him, but he's a B for now. Cleary. I used to get him and Dougal Howard mixed up back in the day. He is great skilled. I'm going to go B. I'm going to go Cleary in the B column. Could be controversial. I haven't seen enough of him. He's probably all Australian. But um, it's my rankings. But I can get them wrong if I want to. Tommy Barras. A. I rate Tommy Barras. I reckon he's a star in the making. And to be honest, I reckon he's a star now. So Tommy Barras can go in the A category. Being teammates with Jeremy McGovern must be handy. All the training sessions, just being under his wing, has developed Tommy Barras really, really quickly. So he's in the A category for mine. Phil Davis, overall, great defender. You've got to put Phil Davis in the A, don't you? I know he's been injured, did the calf against the Ds, has had some injury troubles recently. He probably doesn't have much left in the tank, big Davo, but uh, I'm going to put him in the A. I'm not sure why, but in my mind, body and soul, I feel like he should be there. Darcy Gardner, C? Is that fair? But he's not a star. I think he's, you know, handy, but nothing special. So that's why I put Das in the C. Dill Grimes, he's probably in the A. He's probably almost higher, but I'm gonna put him in the A just to be safe. If you said Asprey, Rance, and Dill Grimes would be, you know, premiership stars, some of the greats of the game in 2015, I would have laughed at you, but how time moves forward. Um, yeah, Dill Grimes, really, really consistent, really, really handy. One of the best defenders in the league. So he's in the A category for mine. Potentially higher. Could have been higher. Sam Collins, I rate heavily. B grade for Sammy Collins. How funny was it last year? Who was he versing? He was on oh Tommy Lynch. He was on Tommy Lynch, I think, when he got really fired up. That's what you want to see as a Suns fan. Someone who really, really cares about your club. Um, but yeah, Sammy Collins is in the B category for mine. Jonas the skipper. B for mine. Really serviceable. I think any other club would find him really handy in their lineup. But I've got him as a B. Defender doesn't, you know, wins as much as he loses. Good defender. <laughs> I sound like I don't know what I'm talking about. And if we're going to be honest, I don't. Jacob Wiedering, B. I don't think he's an A yet. Oh, but geez, I've got Liam Jones ahead of him. What am I doing? I hate tear makers. Jacob Wiedering, B, isn't he? Or maybe he's an A. Is Jacob Wiedering and Dill Grimes in the same category? Probably not. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I might reshuffle that, but how I feel, I feel like Wieders goes in B, but it might get changed. Alex Keith, see, he's not bad, but that makes it look like he's bad. Maybe I've got the skew all wrong. Maybe a Grimesy goes up. Grimes can go up, Keith can go there, and Weedry can go up. That, that feels a little bit better. I've reshuffled that a little bit, but Alex Keith, bang average, and not in a bad way, as in like really consistent. You know what you're gonna get from him, but nothing special. Robbie Tarrant, Robbie Tarrant's an A for mine. All Australians? Or is he one of those ones that haven't been all Australian, but should have? Either way, Robbie Tarrant, is in the A category for mine. Harris Andrews, GOAT. Got to be up there, doesn't he? He's a freak. I rate Harris Andrews as good as anyone else in the comp, and he's got to be right up in the Stephen Silvani category. <laughs> Sammy Frost, Frostball. We're talking pacey, we're talking athletic, and I love when Frostball works out, but I've seen it firsthand. It's got to be some of the most kamikaze football you will ever see. If he was wearing a D's jumper, he'd probably get the C category, but Frostball, it's kamikaze footy. It's too risky for me, Frosty. But then again, I have seen Frostball win us a couple of games. But anyway, Frostball, he's down the bottom. I'm sorry, I love him, but too risky for mine. Alir, Alir, bang, in the B. Absolute gun. Um, probably not in the A, probably not in the top one, but I think Alir, Alir, really putting together a good patch of form this season as well. So, you know, towards the end of the season, probably could push up, but for mine right now, Alir, Alir is a B, and a very handy B at that. Lukey Ryan, oh, I've dropped him in the Zach Dawson's. Uh, Lukey Ryan can go B, really consistent. Has he been injured? Or is it Alex Pierce that I'm thinking of? I think one of them had that, I think both of them had that potential 
all Australian breakout front of the year, but they both got injured or one got injured. I don't see enough rare games to really know. Yeah, I was getting him and Alex Pierce mixed up before. I wasn't sure whether they'd both sort of been injured and haven't quite been consistent, but um, yeah, I don't know if I'm getting them mixed up. But Lukey Ryan, I'm chucking in the B. Mark Blitz, the Blitz, he's he's almost up there, the Blitz. He's won two BNFs. I think one might have been a Ruckman, one might have been a midfield. He's probably won one as a defender. He's almost up there, the Blitz. I'm gonna put him in the A. Nah, I'm gonna put him. I'm gonna put him up. I'm gonna put him right up. I rate the Blitz. I love him. I love Tommy Stewart. It's a shame that he's not in here, but um, yeah, I do rate the Blitz, and I'm putting him right up there. All right, let's get in. Let's get into the nitty and gritty. A man who should have been all Australian. There was a bloody list last year of how many people kicked goals on Stephen May, and I think it was like 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0. Like people couldn't get boot to ball when they played on him last year. I reckon Stephen May is as good as any fullback in the comp. I believe he will be All-Australian by the end of the year, but Stephen May, for mine, is as good as anyone else in the comp. Dougal Howard, B. I rate him, I rate Dougal. I reckon he's a bit of a jet, but for mine, he he's in the B category, but he's quite young. I can't believe Port Adelaide gave him away for free, pretty much. But yeah, keen to see what Dukes does with his career. Jeremy McGovern, it'd be foolish for me not to put him as one of the best in the comp. One of the best interceptors, if not the best interceptors. Yeah, come at me if you think that's wrong. <laughs> Darcy Moore, that wasn't hard, was it? Uh, Darcy Moore, as good as anyone else in the comp. Come at me if you think that's wrong as well, because I'm pretty confident with those. There's a few I'm not confident about, but I'm um, pretty confident with that one. Dane Rampey, I reckon he's an A. Really consistent skipper for the Swans. But yeah, Dane Rampey, he's, uh, he's an A-grade defender for mine. Daniel Talia, probably not at the moment, but I reckon Daniel Talia has been as good as a 10-year-plus defender as one of the rising star, I believe. But yeah, Daniel Talia, really consistent. I'll put Daniel Talia in the A. Jake Deliva, Lever, he's got to be A. He has been, he was really good last year. He didn't have the, uh, the media coverage as a Stephen May, but he was really, really consistent. And he's gone to another level this year. Jakey Lever's got to be an A, doesn't he? And Noah Bolter, I think, will be a A, if not more. But I'm going to put him in the B category. I'm pretty content with that. Let's see if I can reshuffle a few around. All right, guys, as always, let me know if I've butchered some in the comments down below. I probably have. You guys are probably going to bring out stats out of the wazoo to just make my list look ridiculous, but I'm pretty content off face value how it is. Once again, guys, I appreciate all the support. I appreciate everyone who gets around and supports the videos and i'll see you all very very soon cheers